Hello, want to get more traffic to your website now? I'm going to show you some really cool free ways to do this. Subscribe to my channel if you want the latest traffic and conversion strategies. Hey, I'm Neil Sheff and I help brands become bigger brands online. Tiny brands are so much more personal. If you agree, drop a yes in the comments below. Instagram, Facebook ads, blogging, SEO, Google ads, LinkedIn, to name a few ways to get traffic. It's no surprise that marketers, small businesses and entrepreneurs are confused about which traffic strategy is right for them. That's why I'm gonna show you six ways to get traffic to your website fast and free. Number one, improve your existing rankings in Google. There's this saying that SEO is long term, but that's not actually not entirely true. Look, if your website is already ranking on page two for a particular keyword or a search query, then that's a lot easier to get to page one and start driving traffic that's relevant to your business fast. Here's an example of increasing traffic by 13% within two months which is nearly 1,000 more visitors to this website. Not bad. To find keywords that your website is currently ranking for, head over to Google Search Console and click on Performance and look at the keywords that your site is ranking for on pages two to five, because those are potentially strong opportunities to improve your traffic in the short term and actually start bringing in new inquiries and sales. Now, you wanna go in and start analyzing those pages. Maybe the quality of content needs improving to compete to pay for page one. Perhaps it needs better on-page SEO optimization. You know, you're not gonna know until you start doing the analysis. Number two, create a new conversation with your email list. Do you have an existing email list where there's potentially new traffic and basically people waiting for you to share something with them? You know, best of all, it's traffic and an audience that you have complete control over. You may need to keep in touch and just remain top of mind. And so what you wanna start thinking about is what could you share with them? You could share a quick win or a hack that you've just learned, you could share an offer or share a company announcement. Hit the like button if you're going to email your audience more often. Number three, partner with influencers. Partnering with other influencers in your space who already have an existing audience is a great way of getting in front of a larger crowd quickly. Now, rather than finding influencers you don't know who they are and who will probably charge you an arm and a leg on behalf of talking about you, can you find someone in your existing network that you can work with directly? And if you can't, then there is a way to partner up with influencers on a joint venture basis where perhaps you both get 50% of the proceeds. So whilst in the short term you don't keep it as much of the revenue, longer term you have a larger audience you can now begin to nurture and build a conversation and build trust and offer um, new products or services in the future. Or maybe there's an influencer who's interested in getting in front of your audience in exchange for sharing your brand with their audience. You know, that's just an easy swap. Most of the time here, you're going to find influencers in a similar situation to yours. Number four, Interview an expert. You could interview other experts and feature them on your site. And there's a good chance they have an existing audience who will find out about you when they share their interview. How easy is that? Not only will this bring in traffic, but more importantly, it's going to help to improve your authority in the space. As Jim Rohn says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Imagine your brand online is a person. Who do people see it being associated with? Number five. Ask an expert for a quote. Speaking of experts, you could ask them to contribute to one of your pieces, like share their views or a tip that's linked to your topic. It's interesting, there's three things that happen when you do this. Your article has more credibility, the piece is going to be more engaging, and above all, you've increased your chances of getting some early traffic in if the expert shares it with their audience. Number six, write for other large websites. I know it sounds pretty simple, but if you find the right site to write some content for, then you could end up seeing a ton of traffic coming your way. There's plenty of sites out there looking for experts to offer new content and offer different perspectives. So first, you need to find 
relevant sites. You can do this easily using Google. Let me show you a few search queries you can enter to find relevant sites that are looking for contributors. You could search for industry in brackets write for us or industry in brackets guest author or industry in brackets guest post. You're going to come across a bunch of sites that are open to contribution but before we pitch an idea you need to verify whether it's worth your time and effort. So head over to a site called SimilarWeb Dot com and enter in the site and you can now easily look at the estimated traffic of that site and see whether it's worth pursuing and going through this exercise is also going to help you grow the number of sites mentioning and linking back to your site which also has a longer term benefit from an SEO perspective as Google now starts to see other websites talking about you so there's a short term benefit of getting traffic early in and then there's a longer term benefit of getting Google to trust you and sending you traffic organically without you now having to try. Okay, great. Let's do a really quick summary of how to get traffic to your website fast and free. Number one, improve your existing Google rankings. Number two, email your existing audience more frequently. Number three, partner with influencers. Number four, interview an expert. Number five, ask an expert for a quote. And number six, write for other larger websites. If you enjoyed this video and you want to take your website traffic strategy to the next level, I've put together a website traffic planner for you. You can find the link to the traffic planner in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to learn more brand building and audience building strategies.